So this is a video I talked about wanting to do yesterday, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to talk about it now. You know, better uh, better late than never, right? So this um, this question, uh, this topic has been kind of boiling in my in my veins for a while, and a year, it's been a year since we've had Jurassic World Dominion, and I'm going to talk about the now. It goes without saying that like Jurassic World Dominion on a whole is a garbage movie. It is. I actually walked out of there going, I owe Jurassic Park 3 a apology. Like, I legit walked out of that movie going, that, that movie, JP3 is, I would watch JP3 over that Dominion again. And it's funny, too, because I can't, like, I don't even bother with the Jurassic World movies anymore. Like, the Jurassic World trilogy in general, I don't bother with. I just watched the, the uh, first three movies. Not to sound like a purist, or, I'm not trying to sound like a purist or anything, it's just, the movies on a whole were just, you had Jurassic World, which was mediocre, then you had Fallen Kingdom, which, while did have some interesting concepts and some neat ideas, got bogged down by pure bullshit, and Dominion was Dominion. Now, I'm gonna actually, for this, but we're not here to talk about that, we're actually here to talk about the ending, and why that, that generally is the most dumbest shit I have ever heard. And what really killed the movie for me. What That was the, like, fate... That was the, you know, killing blow for, for this movie of why I didn't like it. So, as we all know, Dominion ends on a whole note of we're just gonna coexist with the dinosaurs that are running wild on our planet. Okay. Here's why that's a bad idea on multi scientifically that is a there are so many things wrong with that I, with that mindset it's hysterical like it is goddamn hilarious of how bad of an idea that is first and foremost let's talk about invasive species this is the big one this is a big one invasive species in general have been the cause for a multitude of native species extinctions I need not tell you that, like, because of rats and cats and humans in general, that that was one of the reasons why the dodo and several forms of tortoises went extinct. There's also a reason of why bir several forms of flightless birds went extinct because of sheer field cats alone. Like, hell, there are species of birds and rodents now that are on the endangered, li endangered list of because of cats and be how much they kill and eat for no other reason just to kill things. Speaking of someone who owns cats, yeah, they're psychopaths. So, imagine if you... And also, here's another perfect example. When you introduce a species into the right environments, they are going to be uber competitive with the native species. Like, look at it this way. Uh, the state I live in, Florida, which... Fuck this state. Um, the Everglades alone are filled with over... I think the last count was over near like over a hundred different invasive species, over a hundred, and half of those have nearly wiped out native plants and fauna. You know, uh, you know, and just on the sole ground of the temperatures are perfect, especially for reptiles. That's why there's getting it's becoming more and more stricter to oh, be a reptile owner. Um, the big thing you have to look at now. Imagine. That on a global scale, with temperatures just right. And we'll get to temperatures in a moment, because they're not just right. But the thing of it is, is that now it's not just like a big snake, or, you know, a bird, or even a cat. This is a dinosaur. This is a goddamn um, eight-ton animal. I'm not talking just theropods. I'm talking, you know, herbivores, too. They will out-eat competition because of how much calories they needed to take. Back in the, in the you know... The Mesozoic era, th these dinosaurs were basically capable of eating so much because they could ca they could probably outcompete or at least have enough um, evolutionary you know divergence between them to survive. The problem with that is modern animals don't have that. Modern animals are already also struggling enough because of us. That's the other thing is that we've already fucked the planet over. What do you think is going to happen when we inter when you introduce a species of animal or a, a you know several hundred species of animal that are considered megafauna that need massive space that need all that food? 
these sauropods and 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 uh, ceratopsians aren't going to just share space with the native animals. No, they're going to outcompete them. They're going because they need to eat so much. In fact, like carnivores, al modern day carnivores alone. If you brought not mo uh, modern day carnivores alone, like lions and all that, they're going to get outcompeted because these animals are going to need a lot of these predators. These theropods are going to need a shit ton of calories to keep going through the day. And yeah, that's the other thing is that a lot of these animal, the world just isn't like it was during the uh, the Mesozoic era. There's no way on God's green earth or what's left of it that you we do not have the resources to provide, you know, the proper amount of space and food, not even for the animals that we haven't wiped out yet. I'm talking like these anim the, reintroducing these massive animals, most of them are probably going realistically would probably starve to death. That's the other and if not and if they're thriving, they are wiping out the competition um, in the in the native territories. Native animals, they're gone. Like, they're just gone. Um, whether they're hunted to extinction by, inner, by you know, new predators like vel velociraptors or being overhunted by large carnivores like a T-Rex or Carnotaurus or Allosaurus because they need these new, these larger predators need to eat so much now because the resources, and you could say, oh, well, they'll just hunt the ceratop the um, ceratopsians and the, and the sauropods and all the other plant eaters. Yeah, but what if these dinosaurs wander into an area that don't have these, you know, these di other dinosaurs, these herbivores to eat? What do you think they're going to come after? Sure as shit ain't, you know, a, you know, a tray of leaves. I had a joke there. I lost it. Um, it's sure as shit gonna be us or or an or native animals in that area. It's mind-boggling to think that that's the the coexistence. It's a it's a lovely thought. Don't get me wrong. It is a lovely, enjoyable thought. But the fact of the fucking matter is, it's impossible to do something like that. If like you and not go with think of the ramifications for our planet on a whole and our native species. Not only that, like I said before, we have fucked this planet. We have thoroughly, 100% fucked this planet as a, as a species. This planet is already... You're, I'm sure this year alone you have felt some kind of... Uh, you know... You've kind of noticed in the last four years that the, uh, that the weather has been a little fucky, as, uh, you know, more so than lately. So, these animals can't thrive in this new era. We also eat up so much resources. We are probably, like, realistically, we are probably killing these animals on site. Like, I would imagine the government would push a law that would be like, it's on site with these animals. They are, and I, as much as I love dinosaurs, and don't get me wrong, I fucking love dinosaurs, and I would love the idea of seeing a real-life dinosaur. But the fact of the matter is, it's a horrible idea, because... It would just destroy... These animals would get into crops. These animals, these uh, these carnivores, they would just... Ra they would wander into cities to eat humans and other animals they would find because they just don't get the... They're not... They're starving to death. That's what goes on in most populated areas, like uh, some parts of Africa. These animals, while they have open spaces, will wander into towns and or villages and kill someone because they're starving or it's easy prey. You see that a lot so much in India because these animal, you know, the Indian pop, um, the Indian pop population has boomed and these cities expand into wild territories. Therefore, there's more interaction with wildlife. There go if you re if you like theoretically had these large carnivores, they would be starving because they just can't they just can't fucking live off of the animals that we have now. A majority of them will probably starve to death or be hunted and killed because they're going into areas to kill and eat humans. Not because, like, they want to, because they have to, because it's easy prey. It's, we're, we're nothing to, realistically, like, Jurassic Park, and I know, movie inaccurate and all, but, like, the thing of, of the fact of the matter is, we are not, we are not worth the effort for, if, if for dinosaurs to eat. Like, medium-sized carnivores, like Carnotaurus, maybe Allosaurus, and even, like, a lot of dromaeosaurs would probably prey on us. 
but the but like large predators like T Rex, Giganotosaurus, all of them, all of them would not find give us the uh, the time of the day unless it was a territory or if they're just starving and they need food. You know, it'd be like J G Wentworth. I need food now. Yeah. So the 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 idea, the gall, the audacity, even that that movie left with a coexistence after showing of how after, and flying in the face of what Ian Malcolm said of all this genetic power being unleashed in the world is hysterical it's his, it's all it's it's and it's a little insulting that like we're dealing with you know mass extinctions already we're living in one people and invasive species are wiping out native species on a massive level and our planet can't stand it any you know our planet is getting fucked so throwing in dinosaurs into the mix in this this late in the game oh lord no there is no coexistence it is us or it would be us or them and i hate using that term of phrase because i really just don't fucking like that but really, it would be, if you had dinosaurs, it would be us or them. And only one of them is walking away with the planet. So yeah. So there you go, guys. I thought, I, this is a video I've been thinking about ever since I watched Dominion. Which I've only, I only watched in theaters once. I've never gone back to it. And I just, because I am, it was so bad. And that ending was just, I needed, uh, like, after a year of it, I'm like, I, I think I need to get my thoughts out of why, J of the... Like, the major reason why J uh, Jurassic World Dominion really bothered me. So there you go, guys. Um, not a typical video I do as a topic, but eh, never hurts to change up the pace every now and again. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.